What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be going over a task four speaking question. So take out your notebooks, grab your writing utensils and get ready to take some outstanding notes. How arrow point is for both your beginning and ending sentences. So whatever you say at the start of your response is gonna be the same as what you say at the end of your response. So if you remember what you said, you're not gonna mess this up, okay? Good first impression and last impression. We got this in the bag. Now, um, one and two, we're gonna write that down just in case the professor gives us two examples, two methods, two techniques, two whatever, two adaptations, whatever it might be. But if the professor doesn't do that, all we have to do is cross out number two so that we don't confuse ourselves, all right? Okay, let's jump into the lecture. Scientists have learned some interesting things about the intellectual abilities of babies. They say there's evidence that babies as young as five months old can do basic arithmetic, that they can add. Scientists think babies know that one plus one equals two and not one. The evidence is indirect because obviously you can't ask a five month old baby to add up some numbers for you. So they devised an experiment where um, in this experiment, a baby is shown a doll on a table. Okay, so the baby looks at the doll. Then the researcher lowers a screen in front of the doll. So now the doll's hidden behind the screen. But the baby's already seen the doll and so knows it's there. Well, then the researcher takes a second doll and very obviously places it behind the screen with the first one. Okay, so now you have two dolls behind the screen, right? Well, no, because what the researchers did was they secretly took away one of the dolls. And then when they raise the screen back up, the baby, well, it expects to see two dolls, right? But there's only one there. And guess what? The baby's surprised. It expects two, but it only sees one. How could the researchers tell that the baby's surprised? Well, they recorded the baby's eye movements on camera. And we know that when a baby is surprised by something, a loud noise or an unexpected flash of light maybe, it stares at where the noise or light is coming from. And that's what the babies in the experiment did. They stared, because a baby knows that if you add one doll and one doll, you should have two dolls. So when it sees one doll, then it stares because it's surprised. Using the research described by the professor, explain what scientists have learned about the mathematical abilities of babies. All right, so what happened just now is I was able to rehearse my response from the beginning to almost the end of the second half of the experiment, even before the 20 seconds of official preparation time were given to me, okay? So that's how you're supposed to do it. Be on your feet, think on your toes. Don't be lethargic. Don't just sit back waiting for the beep to start, which will then you know, start the 20 seconds of official preparation time. Use every second that you are given, all right? Okay, now let's see how I put this together. You really do not have to say as young as five months old, all right? You don't have to, but if you want to, go ahead. I'm gonna say it, let's see how it works out. The professor gave a lecture about how babies as young as five months old can do basic arithmetic. To begin with, scientists devised an experiment in which a baby was shown a doll. Then, the researchers lowered a screen in front of the doll, but the baby still knew that the doll was there. Afterwards, these researchers placed a second doll behind the screen while secretly taking away the first doll. Needless to say, the baby in this experiment was extremely surprised when he only saw one doll, and scientists could tell this because the baby stared at the doll for a very long time, as he expected to see two. In summation, this was how babies as young as five months old can do basic arithmetic, which was illustrated by an experiment conducted on a young baby with two dolls, given by the professor in the lecture. All right. I, I had about four or three seconds left, which is perfectly fine to just burn. You don't have to say thank you for your time and consideration because if it were me taking the real test, I would have probably said thank you for your time and consideration at least once before my task for response. So at the test, 
don't say thank you four times out of four opportunities, okay? All right, that was the sample response. That was the question that I wanted to cover today. However, I did already go over this question, I think last year, sometime last year, when, the, when I first started this channel and um, actually started taking it seriously. And I will be revamping my Patreon website so that you guys can watch all of my videos without interruptions or advertisements, okay? So once that happens, I will make an announcement on, on YouTube and on Facebook. So keep your eyes open for that. Please be on the lookout for that announcement. All right, if you guys enjoyed what you saw, experienced, and learned, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share the content, but most importantly, if you are a self-disciplined and dedicated person, reach out to me about my tutoring services.